Hey Mani Gang, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Manikani again. If you are new here, you're very welcome. Join the gang, join the family by subscribing below. Click the little bell beside it so you do not miss any new videos. And if you're already part of this gang, this family, I appreciate you as usual. So today I am going to be straightening my hair, actually reviewing this product which I got from amazon my own money <laughs> so this is not a sponsored video okay but um i was looking for something where i would straighten my hair faster and i found this so we are going to try it today together and see if it actually does everything he says so if you want to see that whole process then stay tuned and let's jump right into this video it's manny kenny so guys, if you're not new to the channel, then you've probably seen a previous video of me where I straightened my hair and I used the normal, simple method of using a hand dryer, hand hair dryer with a brush. So what this product promises is having the brush and the dryer integrated together and it's supposed to make you work faster. So it says one step power of a dryer, precision of a styler. Um, salon hair dryer styler so yeah fast drying less freezing more shine okay and um, dries and style in one step that's what I'm looking for um, tangle free drying in up to half the time okay because I normally will use a long time to be able to go through all of my hair with my hand dryer and my brush so we're going to try this first of all we're going to unbox this because it is still completely closed I actually got it last weekend but i was so busy that weekend and this week and now is this weekend and that's when i was finally i finally had time to wash my hair so my hair is like um recently washed i just washed it today so it's not as damp anymore but it's still a little bit damp and um so i just said that this would be a good time a perfect time to try this so yeah now i'm just going to unbox this This box is actually big for nothing because they could actually use a smaller box. This is all that comes in it. This is like half the box, but yeah. So it has this manual, which I am sure I will not read. <laughs> Please read your manuals. I just do not have time for it now. Um, and it comes with this comb looking hair dryer, obviously with the plug and everything in this plastic. So far what I can see is that it has like this holes through the, the brush here and the holes are actually all over, all over the brush area. And under there, there is stuff that looks like metal. But that's pretty much it because after that i can already see the back casing from in here so there's just like the holes and some metals and then you can see the back casing already and um yeah so i guess you hold it here and then you go through and then it has um levels here i don't know if you can see this or is it reflecting it has like the zero cool one and two so I guess cool is the lowest setting and then one, two is higher and higher. So yeah, we're just going to plug this in and let's get into the hair and see what this, ba this bad boy can do. Okay. <laughs> so since my hair is a little bit dry already, I am going to, oh, it's actually not so dry when I touch. It's actually still a little bit damp. It's just the front here is a little bit dry. So I'm just going to go in with water. It's just water in this bottle and spray it on that just a little bit and after washing my hair i did not put any oil in my hair just to make sure that i don't burn my hair because i'm going to put heat in my hair now and if there's oil on the hair then the heat and the oil might become a cooking competition <laughs> my hair might start cooking you know and we don't want any heat damage so um i'm just fixing my mirror here so i can see what i'm sewing okay so i have a heat protectant here and a liquid silk so um the i know that when you want to do like a silk press or hair straightening is good to use silk 
so i have this um liquid silk that i got from the drugstore it's just a normal one and you just get any one that you like but i'll advise because i know that it makes the hair silkier i've used it once or twice while trying to get a make a silk press on my hair you will see me using this in my silk press video one of my previous videos so check that out to see the whole process and um yeah so i'm just going to spray a little bit of this in the hair i think i'll spray the heat protectant first in the whole hair or i'll just go step by step i'll just part my hair and i'm just randomly parting the hair because Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody. Can't sing better. Woo. Any baby. I don't know the lyrics. Make me feel this way. Ain't nobody. Nobody. Okay, so obviously I don't know the lyrics of that song, but yeah. We're going to sing it anyways. So yeah, I'm just going to put a lot of heat protectant or just enough in this section of the hair. And then use my silk liquid silk and also spray it in there and to make sure that it's entering in the entering in the cocoa now i need something to wipe my hands so ugh. oh after doing that i'm now going to try this for the first time i'm excited i hope that this is going to work as fast as i think or as i want because i really want this to go fast so we're going to try the cool setting first and if it's too slow then i'll go up one step higher So first thing I notice it is super loud but then the cool setting doesn't really get hot so far but it's doing a good job and another thing I did not say is that after washing my hair I actually used a detangling brush to detangle my hair so this is not supposed to even help with detangling this is just supposed to dry it and straighten it because I do have a lot of shrinkage can see how long the hair actually is but when i almost at my breast level but when i leave it then it's just hanging in there like a mini ball <laughs> so yeah we're just going to keep um i'm going to keep the low setting for this part of the hair and then the high setting for the next part so that we can see a difference or we can see the difference yeah this is how this section came out so i'm just going to get another section of the hair and we're going to do the higher heat so one number one this was cool setting and then there is a number one setting and then there's number two setting so i'm just going to do this next part here with the or let me do a part that is in the front so you can see it better okay so i'm just going to take this part here in the front and we're going to do the first high setting and see what that gives so first of all obviously heat protectant and liquid silk then we go in with the dryer We're just going to use the first setting. So I think the hotter it is, a bit faster. This is not yet completely dry, but normally when i straighten my hair with my hand dryer and my brush it's normally more straight than this so i don't know i don't know but actually this is actually really fast i started with my hair like i sat down here it was about 6 30 and now it's just 6 42 so it's just been about 12 minutes and i've already done almost half of my first 
part so i've already done almost quarter of my hair normally that would take me super long time if i was using a comb and a uh, hand dryer so let's just keep pushing and uh, i really want to be done fast or soon that's why i bought this so i'm going to let you guys know what time i finish like the whole hair for us to kind of see is it really that fast so with the higher setting it's actually really fast and i feel like my hair looks straighter with the higher setting so i'm just going to do this last part of the half um for you guys with the highest setting you can see how fast that went that was super fast and this hair looks a bit more straighter than the first one in the back but i'm just going to go all over my hair with the higher setting again just to make it look you know but um so far this is what it's looking like and i'm liking it so let's check the time now i said i started at 6 30 and i have been doing non-stop because i want to get an um, exact time so non-stop now is 6 53 um that is about yeah almost 30 minutes so about 20 something minutes for me to do half of my hair so if i need just another 20 let's say 25 minutes to do this other side that means all together i have about 50 minutes which is really faster than when i use a brush and the the hand dryer oh this is how it's looking just 25 minutes i am actually impressed so far um, the one thing that i would say about this is that it um apart from the fact that it's very loud which is probably normal but apart from that the other thing is it's hard to get like to my roots roots like to get right in there that's why you see me like doing this and pretty much brushing it down because then the heat kind of gets there but then it's a bit more difficult but i'm not really i don't think it's such a big um thing for me i think it actually did quite a great job see it kind of reached my roots but it's just because of the the thing i did with holding it like really close to here and then brushing it down when i do it that way then i kind of get my roots better but this is what the hair looks half of the hair done and the other one still in shrinkage <laughs> in shrinkage mood but i am loving this and if this is taking me just 25 minutes to do on one side that means this thing is really fast now i'm just going to do the other side and then um come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this hair dryer slash brush from revlon so the other side of my hair i started at 7 p.m and now it's 7 22 so um it is safe to conclude that this whole process would take you somewhere between 40 and 50 minutes to do with this um hair dryer brush um the only thing in fact let me tell you guys what's my thought on this thing they said it's going to be faster the whole process that is definitely true because normally i will use an hour what am i saying i'll use like almost two hours if i'm using just my old method of using a, a brush and a hand dryer but then with this i have used a little bit less than 15 minutes to do both because i started at um 6 30 this side was done in about 25 minutes 23 to 25 minutes and this side same thing about 22 to 25 minutes also so this is definitely something that i think i would love using um, my only downside my con pros and cons <laughs> my thing what i don't like about this product right now is that um i noticed while i was doing the second side i was using mostly the heat the higher heat section um the higher heat setting and normally when you hold it here then you have a better um, grasp and um, it's easier to do what you have to do with your hair because if i hold it down here then i'm not getting exactly the results that i want so 
I always have to hold it somewhere around here but the problem now is while holding it here and doing this other side of the hair and going at my normal rate that I will normally go this gets very hot this area so when it gets that hot then it's not easy and or it's not comfortable to hold it up here then I have to like hold it down here and it makes the brushing of my hair a little bit um, more difficult i feel like i'm instead pulling on my hair because when i do it from down here it's like i have no not enough control but then if when i do it from here then you know i can put enough pressure the pressure i need to have um for the hair to get dry and get brushed and get straight so that is my only disadvantage so far and apart from the fact that it's loud but when i compare this um the loudness of this and my hand dryer i think is pretty much the same thing so that's not really a con <laughs> so my only con so far is that this section where i hold it gets really really hot i'm happy with the results and now my hair is completely dry i'm just going to put my oils and i think i am going to put my hair back in my braids <laughs> as usual or maybe i could do a little hairstyle a little something something and then put it in the braids another day but mm, let's see <laughs> so i thought i was going to do a cute hairstyle but honestly <laughs> maintaining hairstyles on my natural hair is a lot of work so i'm just going to put it back in my braids after this but yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys and um i don't know what do you guys think of the results how long do you use to dry and straighten your hair especially if you want to do like a ponytail or you just want to have like this blowout look so um how long do you use to do your blowouts with your regular hand dryer and brush does it go as fast as 50 minutes or do you use two hours like me like my hair is really thick and um 4c so it is there's a lot of shrinkage and it's so thick that i have to go part for part and it takes a lot of time so honestly i'm not exaggerating i use about two hours if i'm going to use my hand dryer and my normal brush but this i am impressed personally um yeah maybe you want to try it but i got it for i think about 40 euros yeah 30 something 39 something i will leave a link in my description of the amazon and amazon link of where i got it the link of actually where i got it yeah i'll put it in my description so if you want to try it you can click on that link and buy it and um yeah so that is pretty much what i think about it like i said i like it my only con is that it gets super hot but um, it has been off now for just about five minutes and it's not hot anymore so maybe if it's too hot for you then maybe you stop for five minutes and then when it's a bit cold then you go back i don't know but i just pushed through and i went through with it and yeah just because i wanted to know exactly how much time does this product save me but yeah it does save me about one hour and ten minutes <laughs> so yes and so you guys saw how my hair turned out and uh, I am loving it <laughs> so guys thank you guys so much for watching up to this point this is the end of the video obviously because you've seen the results and let me know in the comment section what you think do you own one of this if you do do you like it what don't you like and um, would you get this if you want to get this the link is in the description box below so like this video share with your friends so they can find out something new for themselves and know that it's going to be helpful to all my curly girls out there and guys maybe so um yeah i'm going to end this video right here thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every one of you who comes back and watch i i noticed that just a really little percentage of you are actually subscribed so please 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 subscribe join the family um support the channel by subscribing below click that red button and the little bell beside it so you get notified every time i post something new do not miss any new updates my next video is going to be here on the screen as usual click on that like that share that comment on that <laughs> as usual and yeah thank you guys so much i will see you guys in my next video love you all bye